a repeat of the Moodle tour, this time with audio. My sincere apologies for uh, messing up that recording. I totally thought I had everything right. So uh, I wanted to give folks a, a tour of Moodle so you get a sense of what to look for in this class and where to find things. Here's the class, and uh, this should be how you are currently seeing it. This general section won't change very much, but a few important things are here. One is the syllabus. The other is the news forum, and that is uh, where I will post big announcements and that sort of thing. Um, the other is the question forum, where if you have a question, this is the place to post it. You'll see that uh, the silent movie got my attention, um, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll fix this now. So if you have questions or issues, please post them in there. We're arranged by topics. A topic equals a week and you will generally see the week assignments listed. I will not change the assignments unless I let you know. So in other words, um, if once assignments are made for a week, it'll stay this way. If there's any change or any other addition, I will post that in the news forum just to let you know that's come up. So if you take a look at that at the start of the week, you're generally good to go. There are some weeks where I need to unfold things over time a little bit. Um, sometimes that's intentional in my planning. Sometimes it's because I came across something new and this is the week it relates to. So again, I, I will keep you posted. I'll never drop something major on you at the end of the week. Uh, you'll see links throughout, forums, um, assignments, all kinds of links. Please don't be overwhelmed if you see a whole list of links. Look at my instructions in the week assignments and you'll see that some things are read, others are browse or explore or look over. So don't find that overwhelming. There might be times when there's a 50 page research paper that I want you to browse and that really means, you know, find, scope it out, find what's meaningful for you in there. We're doing, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the weekly write, and I'd like for you to post your entries in the blog. And the way to do that is to add an entry about this course. That way, when we click view all entries for this course, we'll see everyone's entry that they've posted that week. This is really a space to um, try things out. Not so much um, write about the readings, but to spend some time writing. It could be creative writing, it could be nonfiction, it could be memoir, poetry, just about anything goes. I just want you to write for about a half hour, okay? And that's, this, this used to be a journal entry that we did in the course, and I just found those were really uh, static and routine, and this kind of gives people a chance to mix it up. You can see people in the course by clicking the people link, and you can click their name and see who's here, get a little bit about them. So if you haven't posted a photo or a bio, do that and browse around, read people's bios. It's great to see who's here and who's in the course. Um, you can also send people messages, and if I don't have that up, which I should, then I will get that up. Um, for example, one way to do it is to just go ahead and click someone's name on their online users. Um, the other way is in participants, and we'll use Amanda for example, just click their name and then you can drop them a quick message. Okay, so you'll find that helpful. When you post in forums, if you haven't already, um, just click add a new discussion topic. If you generally need a um, subject line, and if you click this little button, you'll see that there's a lot more you can do with your post. Um, everything from do things with the formatting to uh, you know, change the way it looks, change indents, all that kind of stuff. If you don't see anything here, then change your browser. Some browsers don't show all that's here. 
Um, so you'll you'll find that's helpful. You definitely don't want to write something and then hit the back arrow key because you will lose what you're working on. And it's much more helpful for you to post in the box than to attach files. So if you want to do your post in Word or some other place, then I strongly recommend that you copy and paste your entry into something like text edit if you are using see what's on mine text edit if you're using a Mac um, that way it will um, and you can make that plain text or you can do the same with notepad if you're in a PC and just copy and paste that into this when you when you post an entry please just look it over a little bit make sure there's no formatting issues um, that's about it if you have any questions at all there are a number of ways to contact me um, let's see if I can get out of here. One is definitely through the question forum, and that's the preferable way. If it's a question that's not necessarily for everyone, uh, you can drop me a message. You can also send me an email, or you can uh, call or text me on my cell, which is listed on the syllabus. Um, I hope things go well. Hopefully this is the only glitch so far. If you do come up with any issues, please let me know. Um, so that we can take care of them. Online learning is tricky because uh, you know I, I won't see that quizzical look as you're searching for something or if you're playing a video without audio I'm not right there to make the fix so please let me know and I'll try to keep things as smooth as we can. Thanks again, thanks for understanding um, and we'll see you in the course.